everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Today I have a big Dollarama haul for you. Now I know I usually do like a Dollarama and a Dollar Tree video in one, but today is specifically just gonna be a Dollarama. I found so many cute things there today and um, a lot of it is just miscellaneous fun items. Um, I didn't really buy a lot of crafting items today, so, but, I am super happy with everything I got. So it's anywhere from kitchen to bath, you name it, I have it in this haul today. So let's begin with the haul. So I found these Ziploc or mason jar zipper bags. So this one is a long one, so it's the one that holds all your um, spaghetti noodles. Well, that's what they're showing here. But what I liked is the fact that I have so many wooden beads that, you know, they do come in a Ziploc bag, but I mean, it's not decorative. And I think these are just a lot cuter. And it says, uh, well, I think you can stand these up as well. I think the bottom opens up a little bit. Um, I think maybe from like the bottom. It looks like it's a little bit of a wider bottom when you when it's full uh, with the pasta. But anyway, I saw those. I saw some smaller ones as well. I believe these ones were actually, they were $2. So so you get two for $2. No, sorry, it's a set of three. <laughs> wow, I'm not reading properly today. I'm so sorry, guys. But yes, it's a set of three um, spaghetti mason jars. Like super compactable and you can wash them and reuse them. Love those sure you guys all have them but the cooling racks for your baked goods and whatnot you know I have three um, that it came in this set of three and I got these years ago um, I love them um, but they are getting warped and I think maybe what I'll do is use them now maybe just for my my crafting so that way if, you know I want something that's elevated if I'm spray painting um, not necessarily needing like the lazy Susan that I bought before for spray painting but you know if you're uh, mod podging things and you got to like bend it over the edges I just like that elevation so I thought maybe I can use those cookie sheets but anyway I found these cooling racks um iron it's called iron wire but they're gold plated cookie racks so i got four or oh, sorry they were four dollars each so i got two <laughs> and but yeah so you just have like the little oh you can see here like the little legs there to help elevate it so maybe a half an inch um will be from the counter but i thought these were amazing um it doesn't tell you you can put them in the oven because i at first i thought you know like if i'm making bacon or something like that i can just put that right in the, the cookie sheet but it doesn't say you can bake with this this is just for for cooling but i thought these were amazing and i feel like less bulky because they actually stack really nice together too so those were a good, a good deal. And I saw, so this reminded me totally of the farmhouse feel. And I love this as is, but I might tweak it just a little bit. But I thought, how adorable is this sign? It was $4. So you got your kitchen and it tells you all your rules. I thought that was totally, totally adorable. I want to put that on my kitchen counter right away. I want to put it right beside where I did that trash to treasure, the, the tray and the, um, the utensil container. I think this is going to go perfectly. So it is particle board. You can probably see it there. But I think what I want to do is I want to give it a coat of maybe um, black paint and then maybe whitewash it a little bit to give it a, that more rustic vintage look. And I think I might repaint the kitchen sign a different color as well, just to make it pop out a little bit more. I mean, it does pop out now, but I think just to go with more with my kitchen decor, I'm going to just revamp it a little bit. So, but honestly, how adorable is that for $4? Yeah. <laughs> And um, what were those, not begonias, but what were those coffees that were really popular just this past couple months where you make the instant coffee and you add the water and the sugar and you just give it a little froth? Anyway, I saw this milk frother. Oh, I thought that would actually work really well with that, that coffee drink. Um, 
anyway, this was $4 as well. So I'm going to give it a try. It does take um, two AA batteries. So I'll, I'll give it a try and I'll, I'll let you guys know how, um, how that works. Along with the milk can that I bought my last haul, I was looking for this specifically as well. So I saw this cute galvanized watering can. Now I thought that was so freaking cute. Um, again, I might even use one of those rub on transfer tattoos that I got from one of my hauls. I might put that on there as well. I was actually just thinking, yeah, putting like some flowers in there and actually maybe leaving it out in my garden as a display piece. Now I might not leave it out when it's raining or something like that. Cause I don't know if I want to get it all rusted, but for this was $4. So I was super happy to find that color. Now I feel like there was only this color and white, but I really like the galvanized metal look. So this one was by far calling out to me. <laughs> so my, my husband suffers from really severe allergies and especially at this time of year, you know, we've got all the, the things blooming and the flowers and grass and everything. So he's just suffers severely and it also affects me too. So anyway, he loves this stuff and I found it at the Dollarama the hydrosense so i got two of them this is a nasal spray um it is 100 mils each so for four dollars these guys usually run from like anywhere from 10 to 15 dollars if you go to somewhere else you know a drugstore or walmart or something so for four dollars and the expired date is still very good it's december 2020 so you know what he's using them all the time so why not get them from the dollarama if they're four dollars and another name brand i love the hawaiian tropic sunscreen so this is spf 30. now i'm more i like the spray the aerosol um sunscreens but this one I find particular, I like particular because I can put this on my face if I'm going out um, in the sun. Cause I feel like the spray you're getting in your eyes and you know, it doesn't, it stings a little bit. So I feel like this is just more controlled. And so I, I thought this was great. This is actually only $3 and you know what, for the portion control for me, I didn't want a big bottle of cream. Cause again, I don't like cream, but when it comes to my face, I'll put the cream on as a sunscreen. So this is 90 mils. So it's a really small one, but I think for me, this is perfect and it smells wonderful. You guys probably know Hawaiian Tropic. It's been around forever. I thought that was awesome. So that's going to be a good little summer stash. Now I saw again, my flamingo craziness here so i saw this really cute flamingo tumbler so it comes with a straw it's got one of those little um um it's got a little end to it so you can't you can't lose your straw basically so um I, there was a whole bunch of other ones i'll show you right now in the in the picture the some of the other ones that i saw so these were 250 and I thought these were great. Like, I'm not a water drinker, but well, I drink water whenever, if it's hot out or some of that. But uh, again, it's not my go-to. But this, having one of these actually forces me to drink water. And it's so freaking cute as well. <laughs> and a few more things. So I found these guys. Now, my husband, he always <laughs> gets mad in a funny way though, but he is bald so he has no hair and i have long hair so he's always like in the drain like what's this i'm like thinking come on i'm very good at cleaning out the sink and putting the hair in the garbage but there is the odd time where the hair goes down the drain and we get you know a little clog so i found these things these silicone drain hair catchers for two dollars so a dollar each i ended up buying two because they are silicones i don't we're i'm gonna try them i mean it should be okay easy to wash everything um we also have you know a laundry sink in the basement as well so sometimes if we have dirty um like we do some gardening so like the gloves are soiled or whatnot then you know if things are just going down the drain like rocks or something at least this will hopefully catch it so no no clogging but you know I've seen these on like, I've seen on TV, you know, you're spending just for one, you're getting, it's what, 20 to $30. Like this, you're getting two for $2. So 
Anyway, I got those and I got one and I got another one for a backup just in case. <laughs> and a couple more things. So I saw this, I'm not sure if it's any good or not, but they're, you know, the whole big charcoal craze, like, you know, it clarifies, um, gets rid of any toxins, impurities. Anyway, I saw this, it's called by Dead Sea Collection. It is um, an activated charcoal body wash. It's a thousand mils, so it's huge for $4. Doesn't have any parabens in it. Um, it might have some sulfates in it if those guys if you guys are all worried about the sulfates and stuff but anyway I thought that was really good for four dollars for a body wash if anything you know if I don't like it on my body I can also use this to refill any of my um my soap dispensers because I again I love the the body shop or sorry the the Bath and Body Works um, soap dispensers, the foam dispensers, and sometimes if it's really good, um, if it's the sticker's amazing on it, I don't want to get rid of the bottle, I will just refill it. So again, if I don't like it on my body, I can just use this as hand soap. So there's no big, you know, I don't, I'm not going to waste it if I don't like it, but I mean, that is huge. <laughs> and so last thing from the Dollarama, I don't know about you guys about how you feel with food from the dollar store. Um, you know, I've bought in things before, like those croissants that I bought just in my a couple of hauls ago. I actually really liked them. They were really tender and flaky. I know they're in the package, but you know, for what it was, I actually really liked them. And so one thing I really particularly like is grape leaves. Now, I used to get my grape leaves at Costco and four for six or seven dollars amazing but i can't find them anymore so i don't know if they've discontinued them or not but anyway the dollarama has their version it's that gourmet the deep gourmet um brand by um uh dollarama uh a dollar 25 and I've actually eaten these specific ones before. And honestly, they're just the same as the ones from Costco. No difference. And you probably, I think you get, if I remember correctly, it's for sure 10, if not 12, like six, you get two rows of six grape leaves. Amazing. They're, they've got that nice like vinegar to them. Like anyway. I, I know people might be particular about like what they eat and everything, but I'm not a picky eater. And this is my favorite as far as grape leaves go. All right. Again, that is that for my Jollorama haul. Um, again, I just get so happy when I go into the dollar store. I feel like because I'm such a big bargain shopper and when I can find even like name brands and stuff too that just makes me so happy. You know I feel like you know you go into HomeSense or something you get those name brands you're still saving money but you're still spending money if you know what I mean like whereas you know the HydroSense for instance four dollars for that I thought that was amazing. My only piece of advice for you guys is just when you go into the dollar stores, I definitely say yes or name brand, but check the expiry date. Sometimes they just put them in the dollar store to have a quick sale. I get it. But honestly, December, like for the Hydrosens, for uh, an example, December, that's still a ways away. And why not spend $4 versus 10 to 15? Anyway, that's my little, my little advice. So just make sure to check the expiry date, make sure everything is good. And so, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and again, go ahead and subscribe. You'll see the subscribe button on the lower right. Um, and if you could just also give it a big thumbs up just to help support my channel, I would greatly appreciate it and love you guys forever. I will definitely do another dollar Rama haul. Um, I think maybe the next one I'll do a dollar tree haul. I do have some items that I have from the dollar tree that I just purchased recently. So I'm going to, um, yeah, so maybe what I'll do the next one, I'll do a Dollar Tree haul, specifically just a Dollar Tree. All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoy your day, stay safe, and we'll definitely see you guys at the next video. Take care.